Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by power and then you should be able to calculate power using either energy or work done. So far in this topic we've seen how energy can be transferred from one store to another. We've also seen that we can use work done to calculate the energy transferred by a force moving an object. So in this video we're going to look at power. Here's the definition. Power is the rate at which energy is transferred or the rate at which work is done. Here are the equations for power. You need to learn these as they won't be given in the exam. The power in watts equals the energy transferred in joules divided by the time in seconds. We can also calculate power from work done. In this case the power in watts equals the work done in joules divided by the time in seconds. Now the unit for power is the watt and that has a symbol capital W. One watt is an energy transfer or work done of one joule per second. I'm showing you here two beakers containing the same volume of water. Both of these are being heated by Bunsen burners and we're going to calculate the power of these energy transfers. The left hand Bunsen burner is transferring a total of 250,000 joules of thermal energy in 500 seconds and the right hand Bunsen burner is transferring a total of 180,000 joules of thermal energy in 500 seconds. The power is the energy transfer divided by the time. So if we look at the left hand Bunsen burner, we can see that we've transferred 250,000 joules of thermal energy in 500 seconds. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a power of 500 watts. Looking at the right hand Bunsen burner, we're transferring 180,000 joules of thermal energy in 500 seconds. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a power of 360 watts. So as you can see calculating power is relatively straightforward. Here's a question for you. When a car stops 40,000 joules of work is done by the brakes in a time of 5 seconds. Calculate the power of the brakes. Pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay here's the equation that we need to use. Power equals work done in joules divided by the time in seconds. So the work done is 40,000 joules and the time is 5 seconds. Dividing 40,000 by 5 gives us a power of 8,000 watts and that's our final answer. Here's another question for you to try. I'm showing you here two motors lifting two identical masses. Motor A transfers 500 joules of electrical energy into gravitational potential energy in 40 seconds. Motor B also transfers 500 joules of energy but this motor takes 60 seconds. Calculate the power of both motors. So pause the video and try this question yourself. Okay let's start with motor A. The power is the energy transfer divided by the time. In this case the energy transferred is 500 joules and the time taken is 40 seconds. Putting these into the equation gives us a power of 12.5 watts. Looking at motor B again the energy is 500 joules but now the time is 60 seconds. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a power of 8.3 watts to one decimal place. Now you can find plenty more questions on calculating power in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by power and then you should be able to calculate power using either energy or work done. 